Hi, since a few years ago, I have been flying FPV planes using smartphone batteries. I mainly fly fixed wing and fly wing, focus on long range purpose. In recent years, good quality cylindrical lithium ion batteries have become hard to get and the price has risen. A few years ago, Samsung released the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is support for the first 45 watt charging. The 45 watt charging caught my attention. The Galaxy S20 Ultra have a 5000 mAh battery. 45 watt charging means charging above 2C approximately. High charging C rate means high discharging C rate. And it's also good to compare with cylindrical lithium ion batteries. So today, I'm going to show you the process of making a foam battery pack. These are that we need. Batteries, I'll build 8S1P pack, so I need 8 batteries. I'll leave the battery part number in the description on below. XT30 connectors and 14 AWG wires to balance jack for 4S battery. And M1 bolts and nuts, it is the key for battery build. The connection between the cell was not soldered, but fastened with bolt and nuts. First, remove the battery protection circuit mounted on the battery. It needs to be removed because it is not suitable for purpose. Handle with extreme care. Be careful of shorter circuit. The bottom of the battery was marked with polarity, which was reversed. It doesn't seem to be genuine. The negative terminal is lightly spot welded with a piece of nickel, which can be easily removed using a nipper. The positive terminal weak and thin, the negative terminal is thick and stiff. Check the every cells before stacking. Woohoo poor adhesive was used for cell to cell bonding. Use masking tape properly, be careful of short circuits. This scene is a key part of the battery building. Drilling holes in the battery tabs. Trim them. And connecting them using bolts and nuts. I repeat, please be careful of the short circuit. The bolt that I used there is an M1 and it is 3mm long. I recommended the M1 or M1.2. The notch pre-fitted into the bolt act as a washer for increasing contact surface. The cell to cell connection has become like this. Now the balance jack and XD30 jack connection is left. Alright, wirings are completed. I don't have a balance connector for 8S, so I use two 4S balance connectors. Check the voltage. Use the hand melt to fill in the empty space to fix the battery tap. Cover the top and bottom of the battery with balsa board and finish with filament tape. 8 cell chargers are usually hard to get, so I made connectors like this to use commonly used chargers. Charge the upper 4 cells and the lower 4 cells separately. If you charge it with a multi-port charger at the same time, it can damage the charger, so make sure to charge it separately. Cell phone batteries have a typically high nominal voltage and charging voltage. ISDT charger support 4.4 volt max at lithium high voltage mode. I'm going to make a few more packs for this season. Happy flying. Thanks for watching.